Okay, hi, I'm Liz, and uh, this is my first video that I'm making, or movie that I'm making, to uh, to follow the journey of my learning to play the rub board, which uh, I discovered. I've always known about the rub board. I'm from East Texas, and I'm familiar with Zydeco and a lot of different musical instruments. I'm a little bit of a musician. I play the guitar a little bit, but by no means do I play every day or anything like that. It's something that's just self-taught and I've just done it a little over time. Um, always had a pretty good rhythm though. And uh, anyway, I was in New Orleans for my birthday and um, I saw this really great band called Dwayne Dupsey and the Zydeco Hellraisers. And the washboard player, or in this case, the rubboard player, his name is Alex McDonald and uh, was absolutely amazing, just completely inspiring. And um, for me, although I'm sure it's been, this style has been around, you know, for a really long time, for me, who have been removed from there for so long, being up here in Northern California, uh, it's like a whole new way of playing. It's um, very cool. And anyway, so thanks, Alex. That's why I'm sitting here today. And, and so after that I came home, I ended up buying this board from uh, a nice gentleman in, who lives in Lafayette and his name is T-Don, T-E, new word D-O-N. Um, his name is Don, but he goes by T-Don and he sells these and makes them, they're custom. Uh, and his website is keyofzrubboards.com, that's K-E-Y-O-F, the letter Z. R U B B O A R D S dot com. And his website is great. He sells a lot of different styles of rub boards and uh, and there's a lot of information about the history of rub boards and, and uh, he sells little rub board earrings and things like that also. And he's and I've talked to him a number of times and he's great. Um, so T Don for you. We're gonna rock this bitch. <laughs> um, so anyway, this is one that he's made that is a uh, made for a woman. It has a little, a uh, little bit of a, um, a silhouette that's put in here, and which is, which is made for the a slimmer uh, body. Because typically rub boards that I've seen anyway, um, I don't want to say mass produced, but the bulk of them are between like 13 and 15 inches wide. This one is 10 and uh or i don't know if it's 10 maybe it's a little more this goes down to eight so maybe it's about 11 or 12. anyway i love it it's an over the shoulder i wear it it's fantastic and um having a blurry problem with the camera i apologize for that maybe i'll figure it out i don't know anything about this youtube channel stuff but i'll get there so what i i promised uh, i promised t don that i would uh that i would um send him a video. So that's so that's why I'm making these. And for anybody else who happens to come by. Also I wanted to say, uh, in addition to Alex, I, I, when I came home I bought the rub board and, and I started doing searches on YouTube for rub board and playing and solos and I just wanted to learn as much as I could by watching and I found another, uh, another player who's really great and it's a chick and she plays for, I don't know the name of the band, it's the Bonfers or the Bofons or the, I just don't know and I'm sorry, but if, if you do a YouTube search for Washboard uh, Old Opera House, it will come up at the top as Washboard Old Opera House uh, Solo. I believe that's what it is. Anyway, the gal, she's really great, she's equally as good as Alex, I hope that doesn't offend anybody, I think she's awesome and, and uh, anyway, so there you have it. And then of course, all I mean, all over YouTube there are just amazing players and I've, and I've heard since I've been back of people who are really excellent that I can't find videos for so um, so what I'm going for is what I have um, videos of. I took some of Alex that night at the bar on Bourbon Street, I don't know what bar it is, uh, and then there are a number of, of videos of, of he and, and playing with the band uh, on, on YouTube and there's just a lot of them out there that I can reference. Uh, it's really hard because up here where I live there's only one or two people that play and they play sort of the traditional Zydeco. I don't know, it's nothing like I want to do. 
but who knows? You, maybe they do, and it's, they're just closet players or something. So anyway, what I'm doing is I wanted to show the different things that I have. These are, these are the playing instruments. I don't know what these are called. If you know what these are called, please tell me. I don't know. I don't mean what they are. I know what they are. But as far as their their relation to the rub board, what um, boy that fan is just funny looking up there, isn't it? And the relation to the rub board. Uh, are they play? Are they called the sticks? The playing things? I mean, I don't know. So Don uh, made these, and he sent them C T S D, and uh, they're modified church keys, or what I call church keys, also known as bottle openers or paint can openers, and they're just cut down and filed a little bit uh, with his stamp on there. And so I like these, but they're tinny and they're really, really loud. Uh, so when I play, I have to be right up against the speaker or I have to have my earbuds on, but then I can't even really hear what I'm playing. So I wanted to find something that's a little less loud, but still offered that same, what I consider to sound kind of like a cicada or maybe a bullfrog. I just love that sound. I don't know what it is. So, uh, so I went on my search to find other options to play with and I found some drumsticks and they're great uh, but they're a little muffled and if I'm doing drumming that's fantastic but but I'm not I, I want to play this not like a drum but like a rub board so what I decided to do is I have some options I'm, I'm going to make a little slit well first I'm going to cut them down so they are shorter and then I'm going to put a little slit right down the middle, almost like a clothespin. And I'm going to put uh, uh, metal pieces in there, and then I'm going to have a little screw that I can tighten down. And uh, the type of metal that I'm going to use, I used to own a Volkswagen bus that I used to work on myself, pat on the back, and I uh, used to adjust my valves. And if you know anything about car maintenance or anything like that, you know what these are. These are feelers, and they're different. Um, they're different uh, thicknesses of, of metal and they're all pliable kind of like um, you know banding metal that is that they put around lumber and stuff like that it's a similar kind of metal I've decided that the best for playing the washboard is like a 0.44 millimeter um, and even maybe like a this is a 58 but they're the thing is is they're a little muffled let me go down to a here's a 45 and so if you watch this, look, it's pliable. And but I can't get a I can't get a tin aluminum or anything like that because even their most pliable ones, when they're cut down this small, they're not pliable anymore. But this is great because it doesn't hold a fold when it bends; it goes back. So so what I'm going to do is I've gone down to um, a metal fab shop and they are going to put their heads together down there and see what they can come up with. It's hard for them to get this kind of metal. They can get every kind of metal you can imagine, but getting this kind of metal in this width is, is difficult for them. So what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to have some long ones made that will fit down in and then actually have sort of like a, a short butter knife shape at the end. So then when I play, I'll have it with my... Anyway, so uh, there you go. I also found these cool little metal buttons. See that? See that cool little thing on the end? Uh, and they make... And what I'll do with that also with drumsticks is I'll, I'll uh, make some little grooves around... Can you even see that? Completely. I don't know what's going on with this camera. Uh, little grooves and then I'll use bailing wire to hold them on. Now this one's already been done but I haven't used bailing wire. It's not very tight so it's really loose. But in just playing with it a little bit, it's, it'll make a really nice sound. What I found my favorite thing to be so far are these things, and they're finger picks. And so here's the thumb finger pick, right here. Nice little jobbers, not very expensive, like $1.50. And, uh, and then these, that go over the finger like this, and these make me feel like kinky cat woman. These things are awesome. They're, uh, and my fingers, my hands are pretty small, so I have a hard time um, fitting them on because they, you actually pinch them down to size. See there? And then it just fits on the finger like this. 
Um, but this is my favorite so far. Let's see here. Boy, talk about a boring video. I'm just putting on finger things. Um, as soon as I get them on, I'll be able to play a little bit so you can hear how I... I you can't hear how I progress because this is my first video, but trust me, I suck. I still do. I suck badly. I am, I'm really, I am really, really bad at playing the redboard, but I'm determined and I'm going to learn how to play the hell out of this thing if it takes me, you know, however long. Why? Because I'm probably going through a midlife crisis. I don't know. Um, anyway, so uh, if this was, is the worst that ha comes out of me having a midlife crisis, then everyone's in good shape. Um, okay, so these, how cool are these? They're, um, like I said, they're like, they're Catwoman with an edge. Aren't they, aren't they awesome? Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what kind of sound I get with this. I'm going to put the camera down a little bit so you can see a little. Now remember, I suck. I know I suck. I don't need anyone to comment that I suck because I, I know I'm not any good at this. But like I said, I'm learning and um, I welcome any comments, suggestions, thoughts, ideas, complaints, criticisms, whatever. Bring them on because I need them and, and I really, really want to learn how to uh, play this thing. So I will uh, put the camera down and then I'll be back in a minute. Okay, uh, that should be down enough. Okay, so uh, now with these, by no means can I get that nice, um, but I, I can get, uh, let's see, some tapping sort of rhythm in. Before I was doing this little sort of horse sounding. Like I said, I'm not any good at it, <laughs> but, I'm, but I'm learning. Uh, yeah, I just don't, I don't really have any music to go by right now, so I'm just trying to come up with something in my head, and I have horrible stage fright, or camera fright, or whatever kind of fright, and so it's making it more difficult. out of time on this video. I have to limit them to, I don't know, not many minutes. But that's it. This is my first video. And uh, thank you to everyone who's helped me get to this point. And, and uh, I'll pay, post a video, a movie. I'll post a movie um, and, and just to monitor my progression. And that's it. So thanks and have a nice day.